Over here, my friend. Ah, oh, there you are. Now, listen up. Here's the plan. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it will be suicide. Luckily, we can use my prototype to glide in from here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. Shall we get started? Are you ready to take to the skies? Marvelous! Now, just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. so good.
over here. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches flame for their lives. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio on what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you use it. You hear? Your bands are sound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. This way, follow me. This used to be a fine castle where the Lords of Kira resided. But his best days are now behind it. Come on, over here. Very well, it's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. I know. The temple hall where we met is the perfect spot for a photograph. Impressive, no? But this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements I want to make. Ah, speaking of which, I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> The fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Remember, it's not just cameras I dabble in. If ever I can assist you in some way, just let me know. Wonderful! I would be delighted to help. And I have a feeling you will put my devices to good use. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. So don't be a stranger, you hear? Well, I see you've acquired a camera. I knew I could rely on you. Now, if I may, I would like to ask you to take some photographs for me. Then I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. I will await you in the central room upstairs. him again. I don't care about his glower. How important he is. Exactly, exactly. In other words, if you are... 
Yeah. Yes, that's right. But you know what? Exactly. So shut up. the money very soon. Then I'll pay up and you and me can... you know. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? Just the goods. There seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Hey, hey, hey. This isn't good. If I get caught without this, I'm in real trouble. Oh, don't be like that. Times are hard. You need all the money you can get, right? Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally, I want you to go to the room down the hall. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. Well, how about a diversion? We start the scuffle at the front, then sneak in from the side. Garden. 
Ten minutes. You're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? I'll cut you down. I'm about to unleash my most deadly technique. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, did Katsura pick a fight with you? So you know him? Oh, I know him, all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Shoin. Katsura here is an old student, a close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. Look through the drinks! Look around on me! <laughs> I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. You. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. They say that samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? While I do still have some requests for you, for tonight, please enjoy your time here. Ah, 
Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? There you go. See, I told you this was the place to come. And there's more. I know there was that incident, but Kasura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. I recommend staying on his good side. I'll warrant his head's cleared by now, so maybe you should pay him a visit. He's staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you. I promise. You and I are true friends now. No doubt about it. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Hmm. Uh, haven't we met somewhere? I was sure you were a spy for the Shogun, but it turned out you were a Stroma. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. <sighs> Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And I ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. To be honest, I might have struggled even stone cold sober. Your skill with the sword is quite something, but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Ganzui here is off to do just that. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> this accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country. <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been not that short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. It may not look like it, but those two are fine, upstanding young men. I recommend you get to know them. Genzui's dojo is right here in Yokohama, and I have a good idea where Shinsoku is headed. Perhaps you might join them. <laughs> Did Ryoma recommend me? I see his ability to connect people still surpasses my own. Listen. I have no problem helping you out, but I'll need a little something in return. Tell me, what do you make of the state of this nation? Here we are, with the Western powers circling us as we speak. And yet, the Red Demon speaks with America and brooks no opposition. He is intent on signing a treaty, which will be a disaster for us. This is truly a critical moment for Japan. You may have no interest in such matters now, but in time, I guarantee you will. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Shoin and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrade's whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> if Sakamoto trusts you, and so will I. Our plan is to kill Harris, the American consul, and halt the negotiations. But in order to do that, we need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful 
if you would see fit to join us. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. Once without the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. If you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. returned. I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. A sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps in the confusion you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. His fate is of no real concern to me. If he were to die, another will soon take his place. I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? Please. I knew you'd come. Now, I will help you, but I have a request. I want you to find out who is threatening Mr. Harris's life, and I want to know who's in charge. So, how about it? Do we have a deal? That is a relief. Here's hoping you will find the samurai you are looking for. I'll alert you when the moment is right. Go! 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 Yeah!
was smooth. yourself thought so Very nice. Yeah! 
It seems there was quite the kerfuffle in there. Are you all right? Did you manage to find out who was threatening Mr. Harris? Is that right? So it was just a rabble of foreign-affairing hoodlums? Well, if that's all it was... And did you see the samurai with the demon's claw? <laughs> you almost sound like you're searching for a lost love, you know. Regardless. You proved every bit as reliable as I thought. Do come see me if you ever need my assistance. I dare say I shall have more favors to ask. This close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now, there are those who would have our heads, who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come, when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. It's a pleasure to see you. Apparently, Mr. Harris has been in hiding since the incident. As to where he is, well... Why not try asking around at the Grand Villa? It's where Westerners mingle with the high and mighty. And then there's... Well, let's just say there might be another way. I have some contacts in the Shogunate. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. I'm sure you recall what I told you when I asked you to take those photographs. I hear all sorts of things, things the Shogunate likes to know. You don't believe me, do you? Well, either way, I really do have something to ask you. Ah, oh, now I think about it. There was one more favor I wanted to ask. I would be delighted if you'd see fit to aid me in this matter. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. Do be careful while you're out there.
go arguing about without a care. How quickly you've forgotten about Kurosu. Man, you die! You'd pay for your dresser. Dressed like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benten Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please!
am glad to see your face. Even if you do look rather wretched. No need to explain. I'm sure there are things you don't want dragged into the light. Well, I suppose I could. Only if you agree to see me again. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though, seeing you show up to rescue me. I thought I was dreaming. But, of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> Really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. Thank you. And now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we are nearly there. I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going, you and I, go somewhere far, far away. But, alas. Oh, Taka, it's so good to see you safe. I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now... Let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. Oh, don't say that. Please. I would not share this with just anyone. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. So you've brought me a know-nothing. This is the chief minister, Naosuke E. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the pleasure district. I wanted you to know, but you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul.
Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. <laughs> Remind me, how long have you known Taka? I'd wager I'm a better judge of her intentions than the likes of you. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with a chief minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open. But I am a busy man, and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way. <laughs> 